we were even part of a gang. We were called the Four Amigas. My dad let us tag our name into the concrete at our house. Um, and, you know, that was a vow that we stand by each other, and here we are. <laughs> As I said before, you know, you don't talk to them for 12 years and then show up the next day and you're still the same friends that you were before. <clears throat> same as Melissa, you know. I've known you guys for a, <laughs> a very long time. And uh, you are an Oregon girl. I'm just really glad that we even get to be here today because Melissa tried killing me when I was 18 on Highway 42 because, you know, the dotted line means drive faster and hope you make it before the blind corner while you were listening to Laffy Taffy and maybe we won't die. It took us two years to figure out where we were meant to be, and I've spent the last 22 years feeling blessed by the moment your smile and soul met mine. Well, so you are my best friend and my most favorite person in the whole world. You're the love of my life, my partner in crime. You are my everything. The love you give to me is pure, unconditional, and you are able to do it so selflessly. I kept looking over to see if you noticed me. You didn't for a while. <laughs> but when you finally did, you smiled at me. You have always been my cheerleader and helped me conquer my goals. I'm not sure a lifetime is long enough to return all the love you have given me, but I promise to stand by your side for the rest of my days, trying. I'm so thankful that you are my person and I get to spend the rest of my life with you. And I'm so happy I finally get to call you my wife. It is with great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I should be. 